finally, a look back to the country's first supermerger, the Burlington Northern of 1970. See the colorful combining of four railroads into one empire of the north, stretching from the Great Lakes to the Pacific, with lines reaching down to the Gulf states. We cover the 1950s into the 70s with nostalgic looks at the Northern Pacific, Great Northern, SPNS, and the CB&Q. All these lines were pulled together to form the Burlington Northern, fulfilling the long ambition of railroad great James Hill. This merger created a rainbow of color until the system painted everything cascade green. Many rail fans grew up only knowing the BN by its own solid identity. Now we bring the story behind it all with the epic struggle of the James Hill Roads and E.H. Harriman's Union Pacific for control over the Pacific Northwest. These two titans built great railroads and prosperous territories, while the robber barons of many other roads tarnished the image of the industry. At the start of the 20th century, Hill and Harriman's battles were caught up in the trustbuster web of President Theodore Roosevelt's administration. These historic events delayed the eventual BN merger for nearly 70 years. The building of Roosevelt's Panama Canal also affected the railroad's short-term fortunes. The Canal Railroad was built by Hill's protégés John Stevens and the young Ralph Budd. Ralph Budd was noticed and hired by James Hill to first run the Great Northern and eventually the fabulous Chicago, Burlington and Quincy, that capable anchor of the Hill Lines into Chicago. The innovations of Ralph Budd were numerous, including the 100 plus mile an hour pioneering zephyrs. This tradition of great passenger travel was held by all the hill lines that worked together to link the trains of the Northwest into Chicago over the CBNQ. See the Twin Cities Zephyrs and the speedy commuting fleet on the Chicago to Aurora line. Learn how Ralph Budd spearheaded the California Zephyr with exciting footage. We cover Budd's last great act, running all the railroads during World War II, with some nostalgic looks at that era. Visit Chicago just after the BN merger and see several other roads all in a scramble to merge or wither away in a changing railroad scene. Even early scenes of the eventual merger partner, the Santa Fe. We review the inside story of the Milwaukee and the Rock Island roads. Both were searching for a willing merger partner in that tumultuous era that dealt demise to the unprepared. Visit the inside gateway built in the depression by the Great Northern and Western Pacific. This line was revitalized in the 1970s. See a colorful mix of WP and BN power with many Burlington Northern Alco diesels. These lines work together to connect the Pacific Northwest to Southern California with the help of the Santa Fe. This was the only competition the Southern Pacific had for north-south traffic and it featured tough grades, mixed power and great scenery. Don't miss the story on the demise of steam and the rapid dieselization of all the James Hill lines. A few of these machines worked into the 60s on rail fan excursions that many will remember. The video ends with a final look at the BN as it transitioned into the huge contemporary Burlington Northern Santa Fe system. It provides scenes that range from lakeside bridges, backwoods main lines, and street running on the former CB&Q owned Colorado Southern Line in Colorado. You can still see the cars lettered for the James Hill Heritage Roads of so long ago, and the Empire of the North video helps bring it all into historical focus.